Hello everybody and welcome to Sydney Visa Migration Agency YouTube channel. My name is Anna and today I will tell you about complete and incoming passenger card when you enter Australia and why it is so important to complete this card correctly. Festive season is coming soon and it means that a lot of international travelers will come to Australia to visit their friends, relatives or just to explore this beautiful country. As a part of the immigration clearance, you will need to complete and show the Australian Border Force your incoming passenger card or IPC. This card will be provided to you during your flight. What is a passenger card? A passenger card is a document providing passenger identification and an effective record of person's entry to Australia. Passenger cards also serve as a declaration in relation to health and character requirements for non-Australian citizens and a visa application form for special category visa applicants and for Norfolk Island's permanent residents. Who needs to complete a passenger card? Most passengers are required to complete and present a passenger card when entering Australia. Australian citizens who refuse to complete an IPC may be penalised. Non-Australian citizen may be penalised and refused immigration clearance. An IPC can be completed on behalf of another traveller where a person is in charge of that traveller. This includes parents, guardians or minors and carers of travellers with special needs. A non-Australian citizen is considered to have completed a passenger card where the card is completed on their behalf. This is how an incoming passenger card looks like. An incoming passenger card must be completed in English and accurately provide the following information on both sides of the card. Family surname, given names and passport number, flight number or name of ship, intended address in Australia, if you intend to live in Australia for more than 12 next months, the country in which you boarded the flight or vessel, date of birth and usual occupation, nationality as shown on, a, on your passport, contact details in Australia and emergency contact details, health declaration, information if you have been arrested or have any criminal convictions in the past, declarations related to customs. Are you bringing into Australia goods that may be prohibited or subject to restriction? More than uh, two liters of alcoholic beverages or 25 cigarettes or 20 grams of tobacco products, goods obtained overseas or purchased duty and and or tax-free in Australia with a combined total price of more than 900 Australian dollars including gifts, good samples for business commercial use, 10,000 Australian dollars or more in Australian on foreign currency equivalent, meat, poultry, fish, seafood, eggs, dairy, fruit, vegetables, grain, seeds, straw, nuts, plants, parts of plants, traditional medicines or herbs, wooden uh, articles, animals, part of animals, animal products, products including equipment, eggs, uh, insects, shells, bee products, soil, items with soil attached or used in fresh water areas. Um, there are also two questions regarding your previous travel. Have you been in contact with farms, farm animals, uh, wilderness areas and fr freshwater streams, lakes, etc. in the past 30 days? Were you in Africa, South Central America or Caribbean in the last six days? Passengers are required to sign and uh, date the IPC and are also required to correctly answer additional questions concerning their migration status, health status and any prior criminal convictions. For non-Australian citizens, providing false information can affect their visa status. If you provide false information in your passenger card, your visitor visa can also be cancelled on the spot at the airport. Please be aware that information from passports, visas and incoming passenger cards are matched and also stored with the relevant movement records and can affect your future visa applications. For example, if you visit Australia for a short period of time and plan to apply for a skilled visa, ensure that you provide a correct information regarding your occupation when uh, filling in the card. If you are an engineer but you declare that you are a gardener in your incoming passenger card as a joke, in the future when you apply for a skilled visa, you can receive a natural justice letter from the Department of Home Affairs to comment why you have provided a false or misleading information regarding your occupation. 
This may lead to a decision to refuse your visa application, or if it will be revealed after your visa was granted, you can receive a notice of your visa cancellation. Another example is when you come to Australia to visit your boyfriend or a girlfriend and declare that you don't have any contacts in Australia and then you apply for a partner visa, it again can lead you to the same negative consequences. Your visa might be refused or cancelled on the grounds of providing false or misleading information. Cancellation of your visa might also bar you from making further visa applications or prevent you from being granted certain visas to travel to, enter or stay in Australia. Let me remind you that Sydney Visa Migration Agency was founded 21 years ago and we have always been committed to providing our clients with professional support with their visa and migration matters. From the earliest stages of information collecting through application submission, Sydney Visa experts will provide you with their guidance. We will assure the success of your application by devoting unmatched experience and diligence to it, as well as by reviewing all supporting documents before submitting it on your behalf. Please contact us if you need any assistance with visas. Please show your support by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Everyone is welcome to ask their questions in the comment section below or via email. Stay tuned. See you soon.